week, Grand Isle Week, really by my fellow Transformer fans, Monkey here for another review. And a bit of a catch up and little things and what's been going on, so. Hi! <laughs> Welcome back to another show. Um, got a few things to point out to do today for you. First of all, I'd like to thank Craggy Lotus for subscribing to me. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. I've been, I've been buying. I've been doing some stuff. So as you know, um, I bought Unicron from the competition, um, and he's wonderful. I love him. And I will be doing a review. Um, I've bought some stickers for Thundercracker, G1 Thundercracker, and this guy. So as soon as I get them, I'll do a review on this guy. Um, but I don't know if you've noticed, I've done a, I've done a little thing where I've turned the horns in. Put that up and twist it down. So it just locks it in. But the, the thing about the thing about this, a lot of you have done it already anyway, I'm sure of it. You know, it's lots of very clever people. You know, you're a clever bunch, you lot out there. Speaking of clever people, look what the wife did. This is something that she made. It's an apron uh, and a bow tie for Grimlock. This is the prototype. So um, what it did was it's got a little knot at the back and a little paper clip in the back to feed through the little slot, but it's still too big. So what she's going to do, she's going to make another one. She makes an, any if she makes any more, she'll sew it to the top of the apron instead. So it'll, and it'll just stay like that kind of thing. It's got elasticated waist and top. It comes off dead easy. It's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, the wife will be doing these if you want them. So if you've got an MP08. It is getting re-released as well. Hasbro's re-releasing it in the new box set. In the new box style thing. So if you get one of them, and it don't come with this apron, so if you want an apron, give us a shout, yo. We'll sort out some uh, business. Along with a couple of other things, I bought this bad boy. I love him. He is really good. Really good. I he's, wow. Mmm, mmm. Get playing with him. He locks up real tight. There's no. It's got a lot of junk on the back, but it's all locks up. It's not flapping about and getting in the way. There's no annoyances when you're transforming, you know. So, mm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to do a review on this boy. So yeah, it's 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 a good one. Uh, Twenty quid from um, Beauty and Flip Do Hickey. You know, you know that place. You know that place. Oh, what's it called? Yeah, that shop. Oh, God. Home bargains. Home bargains. There you go. Went to the Stockport. Went to the Stockport one today. Nothing. No Transformers whatsoever. None at all. Got me town. None there. No. Not having it. <laughs> go figure. The other two things that I bought from there was... Um, Wind Razor, I think. Um, and he has got a lot of playability. He's really cool. The joints are not as. He hasn't got as many joints in him as, say, uh, the, the smaller version. But um, not that many, really, less though, to be honest. There's only the elbow joints missing. Really. So yeah, um, he's very cool. Um, he's quite. He's very sturdy. Feels very sturdy. He doesn't. They're not making any more. And the difference being, apart from size and the slight change of colours, is that the pegs that use that he uses for combining are not, are not here on the feet. So, along with that, I got Twin Strike as well. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the difference is, apart from size and slight variation of colour. I don't know there are any differences. I haven't got the smaller version of this. But, um, again, he's so he is really playable. It's not flimsy plastic. It doesn't feel weak in any parts. It's it's really good. I like it. Speaking of which, remember I was saying that, you know, I've got this one. Um, I've got the smaller versions of the others, though. Yes. i got these three bad boys from Sainsbury's. Um, and they're really cool. I liked them. Uh, so Windraiser, uh, Blot, and... Uh, um, Ripper Snapper. I don't know if these are the actual names of them. I can't remember what they are on the boxes, but yeah. And uh, today I got Hunger. 
which is really cool. So I'm only missing Sinner Twin or Twin Strike, I think it's called. I would say. So I'm missing the little one. So if anyone's got uh, this Cyberverse Twin Strike, let me know and I'll buy it off you. Because I need it. I can't find him anywhere. eBay. <laughs> eBay, right? I get some, I'm looking, and I see Mega Cybertron, Megatron. Right? You know the Batmobile? Yeah. And it was like one ninety nine. I was like, no way! So I was like, you know what? Because what I've been doing is just putting things on. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy that. You know, kind of put a, put a bid on. And it was like nine days. And it was coming to the ninth day, and he was saying, like, you know, he's running out soon. And I look at it and I go, oh, 199. Oh, that's cool. It's still going up 199. I was paying for it. And then I won it. I'm like, yes! And as soon as I won it, I looked up at the title again. And it said, Legends Megatron. 199. So, yay! Cyberverse Legends Class. Mini bots, da 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 da. Mm, 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 mm. He's okay. Yeah, he's alright. He'll do. He's better kicking the balls, isn't it? You know? But you learn something new every day, don't you? <laughs> Should look, check your stuff, man. I was like, no, no pieces missing. It's fine. It's not saying anything about pieces missing. It's going to be fine. Okay, so um, something else I got, not on eBay. I uh, got this today. Uh, it's Friday today, the uh, 9th, which means Frank is out today. Well, I won't see that this weekend. I, I, I like the look of that film. But anyway, Soundwave. Yes, Soundwave with Laserbeak. I got him. And from Toys R Us, 20 quid. And I got these bad boys as well. I got the tapes. All four tapes for him. So, because I was looking at me, me shells. I, I haven't done a shells video for it. Just Look at my shelves, and literally, I've got two Billy Book cases now, as you know. So, the all bought one, it's like filled to the brim, you know? And then you've got the cons, and there's just a few, and it's like, oh, God, I need, I need stuff. And do you know what? He is fun. I am so glad I bought him. I looked at the toys, you know, the reviews, are like, ah, oh, okay. But you know what? He's actually sturdy. He rolls cool. The little gimmick he's got, you know, three tapes, pretty cool. I like it. And I haven't got a generation sound wave or tapes. So, yeah, cool. Happy, 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 happy. Now, you've obviously seen the credits, the opening credits, so you know what I'm reviewing today. But just a little bit of a story on this. My wife, I've seen done this in a video, said this in a video before. My wife, the lovely soul that she is, she goes to uh, charity shops all the time. She pops up and has a look see and see what's there. And, uh, and she found this bad boy for one pound fifty. I'm like, oh, thanks, babe. It's really cool. You know, and the obvious things are missing: the, the smoke pipes and the well, everything basically. <laughs> um, so yeah, but it was still kind of cool. I liked it. Then I found an almost complete version, like twenty odd quid. I won it on eBay, twenty odd quid. So I bought him almost complete. He's just missing. The only description is it said. Um, his missile is missing, because that's what missiles do. They, they go missing. And um, the electrics weren't working. So I took the battery casing off and just applied some vinegar. Uh, you know, using a cotton bud. Or you Americans would call it a Q-tip. If any Americans are watching this. Um, but yeah, and so vinegar, wipe it around, and get water, and wipe the same contact areas because it's you know it's the green crap. Yeah, the green crap, green gunge. It's just ugh, it messes up the contacts. So I use vinegar to wipe it off because it's acidic, because it's an acid. Yeah, it it takes it off great. Right? Then the water to wash off the. I didn't dunk it or anything. It's just a cotton bud again, the Q-tip to. Just a dab around, take off the vinegar, and then then tape it out and just let it dry for an hour or so, and then put the batteries in. And it all worked. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Transformers Armada Power Links Optimus Prime. He is. Mm, mm. I'll go. I'll go into what I think of him later. Okay, but this is what he looks like. So he comes with the trailer, 
He comes with a chrome spark plug. He comes with his blaster. He comes with these smoke stacks. And obviously the cap. And there's a missile that comes with our missing the missile. So there's a uh, few playability. Obviously, because it's Armada, you've got pegs, four pegs at the top for um, minicons. Okay, so I usually put prime there. There you go. Okay, and uh, pretty much in this mode, that is it. You know, roam about. He's got a lot of detail in these sections all around here. Lots of molding detail. Lots of detail there. And I'll show more when we get into robot mode and the normal view. You can see my ugly mode. But the main part, which is the cab. Okay. Um, it comes in a dark blue and like a maroon colour. Um, you've got visible head syndrome of the main superbot. Um, but that's it really. You've got fists at the back. I'm gonna say, fist at the back. It's it's under the trailer anyway. You don't see him. So. But you do have three ports here now, so you can put because the trailer's not there. Because you could get uh, the normal prime on his own with um, a plain minicon. Can't remember. I'm sure one of you guys will, will let me know which one it is. But yeah, so that's that. It comes with uh, smoke stacks. That you take off. Now this one is clear. I'm not sure whether the original one is uh, grey, but we're going about this one out, so it's clear. And it's two halves. You put them together, and this is gone for the basic mode. Okay. Now before I transform this, I need to put this sort this out. I need to lift that, those two up, and undo because they're pegged in. These sides are pegged in. You need to unpeg them, okay, so you don't break them when you try and open it up because it has an auto feature, okay. On this on this side of the toy here, right here is a sensor. That sensor picks up a, a signal from this. So uh, all I need to do is pull this out. And it does that. Okay, so um, it comes out with the base as you transform it, which is pretty cool. And because this isn't much of a, it's not really hard to transform it. It's pretty much transformed by the time you you build it up. That falls out. By the time it falls out, this will be built up. So the base. It has a couple of, it has a few features. It has some sound features. Place the mini cam on this red dot here. I can't see it. There. That there is a port. Put a mini cam on there. With the greatest of ease. There we go. Then when you push it forward. Little light curls up and the sound. <laughs> the wife loved that one. Other features, you got the missile launcher here. Okay. Um, but like I said, I'm missing the missile launcher. So there'll be. Another function on the side here. comes out okay here there's another port but it does do it doesn't do anything and then the last feature is here where the little switch there and it pulls that out and apparently a minicon can stand there which we'll find out now because I'm going to use this chromed out chrome oh it's beautiful I love it I'll go into that in a bit 
Also, you got this gun here. You can put it on there if you want. So it's can be placed anywhere really. There. Around. Let's move that forward so you can see properly. That would be good. So it can be moved there or swing it around. Or, you know, bring it forward. You could just put it on like that. That's cool that you can do that. Okay. So all these places can be manned by by a mini cons. So it's a little base. It's pretty cool, yeah. So there you go. That's uh, Osmond's Prime. Uh, with articulation in the uh, elbows and in the shoulders. He has articulation in the legs and the elbow and knees. He can sit himself down. And he can do a little. He could go out, but these are stopping him. And he couldn't do that because that would just look weird. And that is about it. To be honest, that is your lot. That is your lot. Um, face sculpt. He also comes with face plate movement. Um, very cool. I do like him. He's very nice. He also holds the matrix of leadership. If you just open this bit to reveal the matrix of leadership. Of course, you can't take it out or anything, it's just sculpted in, but it's still pretty cool, yeah? I love Crow. Mm, this is so good. So sexual. But the thing is, right, it's kind of hard because because it's all chrome, you can't see it on the camera. The camera doesn't do its justice. It's got like a turbine in the back here, right? He's got fins. Yeah. A turbine there, fins. He's got his minicon emblem in the center, which I'm sure you're not going to see. This just looks so good. Nick. Yes, I, I, he looks, oh. Just a moment. To get away, then just unpin him there, unflip that. Those are the feet, just the head right round. Hold that down as you do it, move those round. And that is him. Oh, god, he's so good! He's so good. I love him. Okay, so we're going on to the good bit now. I'm going to take this bit off. This bit here, I'm going to take that off the super bot mode. It just gets in the way and pops off anyway. That's going off. That's getting taken away out of the way. Because I have a spare one for £1.50. One, one of my English pounds and 50 pence. I'll put him on there because these guy, this guy, his electrics don't work. So there we go. So with this bad boy, all I do is put the fit fists in, straighten the arms, and put them up. I'm gonna turn this bad boy around. So I'll put them up, then see the red, there's two joints, there's a double joint. The joint for the forearm, and then there's a joint in this red part here. The upper joint, you need to bend. Like so. Okay. Okay. Pull the feet out. And then all I do, once this is put in properly, there we go, is when I open the legs, which are going to be the arms, how awesome is that? I'll do is just rotate that round, fold it back in. Then I peg 
to give it stability. Peg that in there and there. Pull that back. And then, as you can see, this has been transformed now. And as I push him in, head pops up, you just don't fold the ears, and there you go. And like they do in the cartoon, this brings out, and but he catches it and looks totally badass and takes out every dirty con there is. Oh, cool, yeah? This button don't work, though. Not very good, this button. But yeah, it does all kinds of sound still. Honest. Um, yeah. This, there's supposed to be a sign, uh, the light's supposed to go up here. But it doesn't. It doesn't work. The light doesn't work. It doesn't work on the other one either. A little bit sad. But that's the only thing that doesn't work on it. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. He is a sight for sore eyes. He really is. I love him. He's really good. So much playability. Yeah, on here. Oh, oh, steady, steady. I got excited then. Um, head articulation is there. Quiet, yo! As you can imagine, I, I'm going to be taking the batteries off after this week. Um, but he's got articulation here. You can bend at the elbow. Um, like the, the gun doesn't work. I'm a bit sad. Uh, but yeah, some pretty good articulation in the upper body. The bottom part is a statue. And that is it. Also, the back. See that? It's just all that. There's nothing. There's no substance. There's nothing there. So from the front, you look great. But then you do that, and you go ah. <sighs> my wife, my wife got me that, uh, my Caroline, okay. Shh, I'm talking, stay, my Caroline bought the original one from a charity shop for £1.50 and I didn't realise I wanted him until I saw him and I started playing with him. Why is he coloured like this? Now I've seen the show, I just forgot he changed colour near the end. So uh, I looked him up on yeah, Wiki, obviously. And uh, I had a look and saw that there was a spark plug in there that was chrome, and I was like, gold chrome. So I fell in love with the toy. And I thought, oh, I'd like that. We'll see what happens. And then when I got jet fire, it's the Powerlink jet fire. So now I had to search for the Powerlink Prime. And I saw that one. Deal. Dealio. So yeah, I, I, I made up. The fact that it works as well, the electrics work, I managed to fix it, is really cool. Shame about the light, but hey, I'm going to take the batteries out now and keep them in Superbot mode and leave the grill off and all that and put it on this one with the gun. So I've got two types of primes. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Transformers Armada Power Links Optimus Prime. Um, a great toy to have. He's so much fun. I love playing with him. Even if you get a junker one, play about with it because that's what helped with me. Um, see if you can fix them. These take the ear and uh, the ear and aid batteries. These take double A's. Four of them in this. Three of them in this. So um, yeah, a lot of batteries. Um, but don't try and Transform this without batteries. See if you can fix it. Okay, because you don't want to be messing up with the gears. Okay, a great toy to have. You you should get it. Really, you should get it. Um, that's everything. <laughs> Quiet, you. So that's everything for me today. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. It's a great. Um, it, tune in very soon. I will be coming out with another video. Um, I've been off this week. And it's um, it's been good. I've been playing the house husband. It's been nice. Um, Iconic reviews. We've got issue five out on um, Transformers Escalation by Sam Kane. And EJ Sue is the artist. Um, that is good. Uh, this is the next one I'm going to be hosting, I think. So I'm going to do the meat of the review. Um, 
But yeah. Oh, I tell you something. I forgot to mention. Comic book day last week. Brilliant. Let's see Adam White. Ah, oh, just it's great to see him again. So if you if you're seeing it, Adam, which you probably probably not mate, because you're not a YouTuber. It's good to see you again. And um hope to do it soon. Also just been on the underbase with him and um our Rob and Matt Time Lord to do uh the G.I. Joe Transformers G.I. Joe crossover comic. Mm. Tune in for that one. Now um, we've all got different views on that one. Um uh, on the underbase. So check that out, that'll be out soon. Um but until next time, be good to yourselves and to each other. Be good, take care, and I will see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye, guys. Oh!